Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to open an unprotected sheet, Excel sheet, in case if you have forgotten the password. Now, there might be an instances where you have applied the password for your Excel sheet and, um, and when you try to open the sheet or modify the sheet, um, you will not be able to modify it because you forgot the password. Now, there is, there is a way to open an Excel sheet uh, without knowing the password. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, try this step. Before I could walk you through this step, I would strongly recommend you to use this step only if you are using this sheet. In case if the Excel file or a sheet is owned by someone else, I would not recommend to use this step. Now, without any delays, uh, let's get started. Now, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step procedure. Uh, I have an, um, a demo Excel file on my computer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a password or protect the sheet. So what I'm going to do is um, this is the demo file. I'm going to apply the password. I'm going to do a right click on the sheet and protect sheet. And I'm going to apply the password here. And click on OK. And re-enter the password again and click on OK again. So if I try to modify the sheet, uh, I would not be able to modify the sheet because it says that uh, the this sheet has been password protected. So I'm going to close this file and click on Save. I'm going to reopen the file and see if the password has been applied uh, successfully. So if I try to modify, it doesn't say. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, walk through the step how to open the sheet without knowing the password. So before trying any step, the first thing what I will do is I will make a copy of this uh, Excel sheet. So I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to make a copy and I'm going to work on the uh, copy, uh, the copy of the file, because in case if anything goes wrong, I always have a backup. So the first thing is you will have to rename the file extension in case if you're not able to see the file extension, you can go ahead and uh, enable the file extension. What you will have to do is you will have to go to file explorer, click on view and check the box uh, which says file name extension and it will show the file extension. So as soon as you are able to see the file extension, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click rename the file extension to zip that is zip from dot x l s x you are renaming the file to dot zip and hit enter in case if you get this prompt which says if you change the file extension the file might become unusable you may click on yes and you don't have to worry you always have a backup and we are working on the backup file so you can click on yes now the file extension has been renamed to zip and it is in zip format now the next thing is uh, you will you would need um, software to unzip the file in my case i have a winrar in case if you don't have a winrar on your computer uh, i will uh, mention the link in the video description you can download the winrar uh, from the internet and install it and uh, there are other softwares like 7zip so you can choose whichever uh, you wish to so in my case i'm going to use winrar and i'm going to unzip this file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a right click on the zip file and click on open so as soon as i click on open it will uh, show me the files which are present on the computer so these are the uh, file format you would see so you will have to go to the folder which says xl double click on it and this will take you to this files on your uh, zip folder and once you're on this section, you will have to go to worksheet. Now worksheet will display the sheets what you have on your Excel file. In my case, I had three sheets that is sheet one, sheet two and sheet three. I had applied password for sheet one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this file, right click or copy the files to the export. You can press control C on the keyboard and go back to the uh, folder where you had your extension and paste it here. And once you have the uh, .xml file, you will have to do a right click open with the editor. In my case, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open with the notepad and this will open the file here. You will have to search for protection. So or else you can search for protect and click on enter or find next so you would in case if you don't have the password if you try to search for protection you will not be able to see this string so in my case since i have applied the password you are seeing the protection here expand this folder now what you will have to do is uh, you will have to go ahead and delete this particular string now please remember 
for any XML file, the string would start with open bracket and close bracket. So you will have to go ahead and delete the uh, string from the open bracket, which starts from here. This is that is right beside uh, protection, that is sheet protection. Highlight everything from here and up till here, that is the closing bracket. So the, the string would open from here, will start from here and then from here and hit delete or hit backspace on the keyboard and save the file and close this file. Now what you will have to do is you will have to open the zip folder, delete the sheet.xml from the uh, zip folder. You can either highlight it and hit, del uh, hit delete button. Now copy the file from here and uh, drag it to the uh, zip folder and click on OK. So what we'll do is it will go ahead and replace the sheet.xml file. Close the uh, zip explorer. Now go ahead and rename this file back to .xlsx that is the original file extension and hit enter. You would get a prompt which says that if you change the file name extension the file become unusable. You may click on yes. Now the file is in .xls format. Double click on the file. And now if you try to modify it, you will be able to modify it. Now this is the way how you can go ahead and open an Excel sheet without knowing the password or if you have forgotten the password. If you want to apply the password, you can go ahead and apply the password again. Right click and protect password. So I hope this video was useful in case if you find this uh, if you found this video useful please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day